Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back on Ark building a tavern on the coastal plains of the Dark Waters area of the Ragnarok map. This tavern serves as both the local vendor of alcohol and food to nearby residents and also as a short stay motel with some small accommodation above the bar floor. We'll be building this with the Primitive Plus pack and focusing mainly on lumber, which is a very nice building material visually, but it is a real pain to build with, so you could replace the lumber with, say, wood if you were so inclined. So firstly, of course, we're going to start with the base plate. The main body of the building is a 7x4 grid of stone foundations with an extension of a 4x3 size for the outside drinking area. After this, I then place pillars in the corners mounted onto stone fence foundations. These will serve merely as a structural anchor of sorts to make the build that little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Always remember, of course, though, to build the pillars up before the walls. That way, when the walls are placed, they'll be able to clip inside the pillars and you won't have any annoying clipping issues. The next step was the walls, windows and doors. The bottom floor of this build has two doors next to each other at the front side of the tavern for the main entrance and one towards the back for connecting the main bar floor to the outside drinking area. All doorways will be filled with regular lumber doors apart from the outside drinking area door which will be a lumber glass door. All window frames are also filled with glass windows, each floor is built two tiles high and of course we are using lumber walls. So next was the second floor. This was um difficult. I capped off the bar floor with stone ceilings and removed two in the corner to place down a stone staircase. After building up the walls around the floor, I then placed down the room compartments. The second floor will have three main rooms with a larger sort of penthouse style room at the end. The formula for these room sizes are fairly hard to explain, but you can get the overall impression by looking at the construction of the rooms as I build them and the overview of course when it's done. These rooms are extremely difficult to get right and with the awful lumber wall clipping they require a lot of sort of mix and matching and replacing stuff and so on. Eventually I did get them in a presentable fashion but <laughs> lumber is not fun to build with. Okay, so next was the roof. If you thought lumber walls were difficult, well, 
this is definitely something else. Seeing as lumber doesn't clip properly and some walls are actually completely different sizes and they have really weird snap points, it's near impossible to actually mount a flawless roof onto lumber walls. Therefore I ended up capping off the second floor with flat stone ceilings and then proceeded to mount the roof onto this base plate of stone ceilings I'd created. I used sloped stone sides and lumber roofing for this. This results in, well, still some awkward clipping issues but alas it's better than you're ever going to get with lumber. And finally when all this was done it was time to of course then furnish. Entering the tavern the bar floor is decked out with plenty of tables for patrons along with chairs over at the bar. We have also included some booths over on the right side for a slightly more secluded indoor seating arrangement. Behind the bar is fairly well stocked set up with beer barrels, cooking stations and more ready to provide sustenance for the customers at the tavern. Out on the outside drinking area we again have some more tables for patrons surrounding a bonfire. I did in the end end up replacing this bonfire with a brazier. Bonfires are extremely bright when they're lit, very bright, and they will overpower any other lighting source within a good 50 feet or so. Heading back inside and upstairs, the rooms here contain pretty basic amenities for any short term stay, with comfortable double beds, storage space and more, with the penthouse suite at the end having a luxurious queen size bed and having a lot more available space. The second floor is also accessible from a side door which you'll see me exit from in just a moment, so people wishing to retire to their rented rooms don't have to traverse the, well, organised chaos of the bar floor. And finally of course a look at the build at night. I added a couple more wall torches and standing torches around to better light the build whilst also keeping the subtle ambience of the table and ceiling lanterns to keep the bar atmospheric. The bar is very well lit in the day and takes on a much warmer and welcoming atmosphere at night with the abundance of lighting, but it's not overpowering which is probably the most important part of actually lighting a building. Anyway, thanks for watching, this is one of my bigger single builds, but lumber really is a pain to build with. Unless you have the patience of a saint or you're really dedicated to the aesthetic of lumber, I'd advise a different material that isn't so hard to work with. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, do go ahead and drop a like, and let me know what build you'd like to see from me next in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the channel whilst you're there as well, I upload art content regularly along with content for the games such as Friday the 13th, Rainbow Six Siege, etc, so don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see in the next video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.